Good evening, everyone. My name is Karthik. I am pursuing my BTEC in VVAT College. I'm from CSC branch. Today, today I discuss about ARM instruction format. This is uh, actually the instruction format for the ARM structure. Here we can see the condition. Uh, it is uh, it is the conditions like uh, uh, shift operations, etc. In it is uh, actually. Uh, placed in the condition field. It, it is placed in the condition field and the opcode here. Opcode means uh, what are the type of operations you want to perform on the on the resistors. Like uh, this opcode may contain add, subtract, uh, multiplicate, multiplicate, etc. There are many opcodes in the opcode. And the RN, it is the first operand. And RD is the destination operand, and operand two is the second operand uh, with, in, on which we want to perform. So the general notation will be as the destination, comma source operand, like RN. So with opcode here. Opcode, uh, destination uh, register, and the source register. This is the actually the just the structure of the uh, structure of how the how they are stored. Let us see about uh, addressing modes in the ARM structure. The first addressing mode is pre-indexed addressing mode. In this addressing mode, the effective address is effective effective address of operand is the sum of the contents of the base register. You can see here contents of the base register Rn and offset value. So uh, this is the destination operand and this is the source. Rn is the source of base register of source operand. So the effective address can be obtained by adding the contents of Rn and the offset. So that will be our effective address. Here Rn value is preserved. That means the Rn value will not be changed. So it is preserved. So consider an example at Rn is equals to 100. Uh, if Rn is equals to 100, uh, then uh, Ea will become R is equals to 100 and offset is equals to 2. Then uh, effective address will become 100 plus 2, uh, which will eventually become 102. So the 102 will be the effective address and uh, Rn will not change. So Rn is preserved in the pre-indexing addressing mode. And the second addressing mode is pre-indexing with uh, right back. So it is actually uh, as same as the previous pre-indexing mode. As we can see the notation here, we have a, we have an exclamatory mark here. That is the change here. Uh, in the in the pre-indexing addressing mode, we uh, the Rn value is preserved, whereas here the Rn value is overwritten with the effective address. So Rn value is not preserved here, whereas it is overwritten by the effective address. So consider the same example. If Rn is equals to 100 and offset is equals to 2, uh, then effective address will become 100 plus 2, which will become 102. So effective address will become 102. And after this, since uh, since uh, EA, EA overrides the Rn, Rn also will become 102. Uh, but in the previous case, Rn is 100. Here it will become 102. Now, uh, it, the third post, uh, third indexing method is post-indexing method. In this post-indexing method, the Rn, as we seen before here, offset value is added and then it is uh, moved to the effect, it is given as effective address. But here, as we can observe, 
here uh, firstly effect to address is the contents of the base resistor uh, you, you can see the notation here in the in the previous uh, in the pre in the previous we can see that the uh, square brackets are given for the both uh, R and offset but he, but here it is not the case here rn is rn is given with the square brackets here effective address will become the contents of the base resistor after this the base resistor rn will be updated with effective address plus offset so rn value is updated here so consider another example if rn is equals to 100 and offset is equals to 4 then EA will becomes 100 since it will not add the offset value before but it will uh, it will uh, add to the base register after after assigning to the effective address so effective address will be uh, will be only 100 only 100 here as you can see this and RN will becomes 104 as we seen here rn is equals to ea plus offset so rn is equals to 104 so let us see the uh, see the table of these uh, these uh, pre index uh, pre index with right back and post index in a tabular form as we can see here pre in, uh, in the pre indexing addressing mode uh, the representation is actually actually means uh, uh, it is with LDR comma LDR uh, which is LDR means uh, loading the ro loading the data this is the destination register and the representation is uh, and these representation is will be followed by followed here rt comma rn comma hash offset so if this is the representation then the ea ea will be the sum of the uh, contents in the base register and the offset value but uh, since in the pre index there is no change in the rn so if it is the pre index with right back then uh, it is say, uh, effective address is same as the before pre index but as we can see here in the previous in the in the previous mode there is no change in the rn but here rn is updated with effective address so that is the main uh, main difference between pre index and pre indexing with uh, uh, with write back write back which means we are writing back into the base address so that is a pre index in the write back uh, as we uh, next the third one is post index uh, the representation is like this which means it is for it is followed here uh, ldr rd comma uh, rn within the square, square brackets and uh, hash offset the post indexing addressing mode will be uh, with the this representation and the ea will be the contents of the rn and after after assigning it to the after uh, taking the effective address then only the rn value is updated with the offset but it is not in the case of uh, pre index and post pre index and pre index with right back here firstly the offset value is added but here offset value is added after after taking the effect orders it is with immediate offset since offset is mentioned directly like a uh, we can directly mention it with 4 3 or or some other values So this is with the immediate offset, whereas it is uh, offset with offset with uh, RM, which uh, which is a resistor. So it will be same same as the before, where LDR LDR means load, as we said before, LDR RD and this uh, representations is followed here. These all representations are followed uh, after this. 
so in the pre-indexing over here this is the this is the base register and and the offset offset is here present in the present in another uh, register and the shift it is the operation need to be performed while adding into the effective address as we can see here effective address will be the contents of rn plus shifted of rm rm need to be shifted first and then it should be added to the rn added or subtracted to the rn and then that will be the effective address so now pre index with right back it is also same as same as the pre indexing mode but rn rn will be updated with the effective address and after this the post back post index in this post index we can see here rn rn is within the square square brackets and the rm and shift are not in the on non between the square brackets which means it should be added after getting the effective address so as we can see here effective address is taken first so this this will uh, represent the effective address here and the rn will become rn is equals to ea plus which means effective address plus as we as we said before plus or minus rm comma shift means the shifting operation should be performed on the rm then it then it should be added added to the effective address at and after this it should be stored in base register so this is the post indexing board with the offset with offset in rm we, we have seen a pre indexing mode uh, pre indexing with write back which will write back the write back the effective address into the base register post indexing mode which will take the effective address first and after then the offset value will be added uh, we have seen seen them in a group grouped manner pre indexing its representation and uh, how effective address and the base register values will be uh, which is which is with the immediate offset and this is with the register as an offset so the offset is stored in the register and some operations are done on the on the register and then it, it will be added to the base register so that uh, it will become it will become the effective address only after added uh, after shifting the rm it will be effective address as as in the immediate offset there will be no change in the offset uh, rn value base register pre indexing with write back the only change is rn is updated with effective address in the post index we go uh, post index firstly the effective address is taken as the contents of rn after that it will be added added or subtracted to the rm which is uh, uh, on which the shift operation is performed in this case so this is about uh, addressing modes in the arm structure Thank you.